thank you uh, for being here. You don't have to be here. And, uh, and I'm not going to give you some raw, raw speech today. Uh, one thing my players, you'll learn about me is I hate pregame speeches. I hate pregame. Um, the only thing that matters is what we're going to do right now. I don't like pregame speeches because I feel like if I got to do something special in a pregame speech, I didn't do my job throughout the week. Postgame speeches, though, I believe in. So I believe in the ERO, event plus response to your outcomes in life. And I know that I've seen that on the walls here at this school. And so, but first of all, I just want to thank everybody for the hard work it took to make this day happen, to get here in short order. And I'm not going to try to thank people in person or by name right now. I've learned over time that's a, that's a failing exercise. Um, you know you know who you are, and I, and I thank you in person, I think, already. Um, but when you, I'm going to give you all a chance to ask, ask questions in a second. I want to say this. What kind of program are we, we going to be? You should have been at the basketball game last night. That's our program. I'm going to sit under that man that coaches that, that basketball team and his coaching staff and learn how did that happen. Because that's what kind of program we're going to be. And unfortunately, most of you weren't there. Okay, You'll be there Saturday, though. We will be there Saturday, though. We will be there Saturday, though. <laughs> we'll fill the gym. Okay? Because that's special. Because what we're going to talk about in our program is our, our three core values. We have three of them. Tenacity, coachability, and resiliency. And they were on display last night in spades. Tenacity. The, the, the idea that I will not be outworked by anyone. It was all over the floor last night. They were longer, they were taller, in some instances they were quicker, but they lost every loose ball. They, I'm sure they got out rebounded. I don't know the stats, okay? But it was it was on display. Coachability. I watched young men last night that really in the first half were kind of scrapped and you know scrapping and had some 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 things to kind of go against them. Never once looking at the coach eye to eye. Coach was, was handling them great from the head coach to the assistants. I thought it was phenomenal. And then resiliency. The point guard gets his second foul with three minutes to go in the first half. I believe he had four points at the time. Yeah, we didn't finish with four points. He didn't sulk. He didn't pout. The team didn't sulk. The team didn't pout. They left the floor at halftime. I believe we were up one or down one, something like that. It didn't go the way that they thought it should go. Uh, point guard came back in the second half, phenomenal. Big fella, I thought we were gonna have to get a stretcher for you. Okay, we're hobbling off the court. Comes back, comes back 30 seconds later after meeting with the trainers. Whatever they did, they did some Mr. Diaby stuff. Got you right. Came back out, got a big two points in the game. The third, the third belief that core core value that we have is to, uh, resiliency. How do I handle adversity? How do I handle adversity? Because if you're looking for a life that doesn't happen, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong place. Life 